I'm not lying, I'm not, it just wasn't coming right, but I'm here. Who do I start? Where do I start? Where do I start? Where do I start? Um, this video might be a little bit all over the place. It's not just gonna be me sitting in this room, it's gonna be a multitude of things happening for the past two weeks, I guess. So I'm gonna add it combined to one video. I don't know how long it'll be, it's not gonna be too long. Cause I know my attention span is still short, so I'm not expecting anybody else's attention span. Well, I don't even know if anybody can watch the video. I don't know, what? Um, this is more so for me. So pretty much what this channel is going to be about is me getting my life together. Um, I've pretty much been deactivated my social media for a little while, so you probably can't go on there. But I did this last year around this time, and I was on there talking about how, like, I want to change. But I ain't really did nothing to change because the job I was working to make good money. And you know, you make your money, you kind of put everything else to the side. And I don't like that because this is not what I want to do forever. You know what I'm saying? Um, I have an idea of what I want to do, but I actually want to do it. And me recording myself do it <clears throat> will be me holding myself accountable, whether somebody watch it or not. It's just more so for me. Um, I'm not even going to tell my family I made a video. Like, you know how people like posting and reading I'm not gonna do none of that. I'm just gonna let it just be what it is. What it is for me is for me. But this is truly to hold myself accountable because, on um, overall aspects of myself, so like losing weight, and I've lost weight, I'll insert it somewhere. In the video, you'll see like the difference. I've lost quite a bit of weight, um, so you'll see my weight loss journey. Of skin, I'll show you that. Like me working on my skin, just outer, inner, everything. Because baby, this year has been a year. Actually, let me just be honest. The past two years, oh, child, it's been rough. It's been rough. I'm not gonna lie. This year wasn't so bad, but it was still, it was still doing. It was just, it was ghetto. That's the best way I could put it. Like it was just. I don't, know, I don't know what the wording would be for that. It just wasn't what I expected. I had made a vision board and everything, and it's just like, I don't feel like I accomplished anything on it. Um, it is me. I can't, I'm not blaming anybody. It's me. And I've just been so wrapped up into unnecessary things that don't even matter. The crazy thing I had, when I'm not on camera, I had all these ideas of what I'm going to say on there, and it flew off so much better than what I'm saying right now. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna go with the flow. But all in all, I this is truly a challenge just to hold myself accountable. Like I said, the weight loss, my skin journey, um, me trying to pivot into another maybe pivot into something that I actually want to do. Um, something that I love. Which is me trying to and also me trying to figure out who I am in the midst of being selfish. I'm gonna be honest, I'm very I'm very not anymore. But I'm learning not to be so much like a people pleaser type thing. And it's hard. I'm not gonna lie to you. And then just learning who I am, trying to figure out who am I. And I, I don't know if anybody else would feel like that this year. Like, I've been trying to figure out like, who is Ashley. Like, I feel like I don't even know anymore. So I'm trying to figure that out who I am all together. And just be selfish just with me. Would that make sense? Um, because I'm always, always doing stuff that benefits other people, not so much for myself, but I really want to do something for me. I want to have my own business. I have ideas. So, 
and the crazy thing is me and my brother have i talk to my brother we have a meeting like every monday or whatever we just talk about what you're doing he's working on his business and i'm working on me i'm still trying to figure out what i want to do because i had a business called carly beauty as you can see the channel's called carly beauty i'm not changing that name but um i had a business carly beauty it was doing really well it was in chicago i was selling eyelashes and bundles it was doing really well but I don't, my heart's not in that. I don't want to do that. And then I'm like, you know, you do things for the money. Um, yeah, I feel like you can do what you love and then the money will come later type thing, you know. And it's just, just me just trying to figure out who, where, what do I want to do? And y'all gonna see it. And I ain't gonna lie, this blue full moon, I felt the, the pre-shadow, they call it, of it. I ain't gonna lie. I'm a cancer, so I've been really emotional, like crying and stuff, just trying to figure out, like, let release stuff from past, you know, <clears throat> past things, and not relationships, family, all types of stuff. Just really trying to hone in on me and figure out what I want, what I need to do, and how I need to do it, and how to get there. All on my own. Without being called bending and none of that, that like when I say this year, last summer was crazy for me. This summer was a little more calm, but anxiety mixed with overthinking, mixed with um, just always think something bad gonna happen. I don't know if anybody feel like that. That's me. That's my brain. And then I don't trust people. Baby, it's been a time. It's been a time. Um, but I want to change that. I don't. I don't want to live like this. Life I want to live. Like I, I truly don't want to live this way. I want to be free. I want to travel. I'm also a person who doesn't like staying in the same spot for too long. Um, I like to go to different places, travel. I want to be able to see my family because I live in Arizona right now, and my family lives in Chicago. So, you know, I would like to just see them whenever I want to have that option i'm glad they're coming here thank god they're coming to see me my mom and my dad are coming to see me uh in september next this next month which i'm super excited about that so you guys will see some footage about that too um uh and i'm trying to manifest a lot of things too like i want to get my credit together when i say i'm going to i'm going to be showing stuff that i ain't showed nobody and y'all gonna watch me create a new life a new outcome album for myself and i'm looking at the board because i have a to do list like i have like my credit score um i was thinking about going back to school but i still want to think like i want to go to asu because i that was like technically i have a social degree or whatever but i could finish looking my master's degree but i want in business and entrepreneurship and i'm like you don't have to go to school for that but i want to i like school i don't mind it i think it's great but and i'm 33 by the way i just turned 33 july 21st um so I don't mind school. So like I have this whole, I'll show y'all probably, I'll, throw, I'll insert it somewhere or not, but I have a to-do list, a board here. And um, like, and I'm manifesting a Tesla. I want a Tesla so bad. Brand new Model X, um, all white with people butter seats, but let me know it. Let me not say too much. I'm gonna be about it, I'm just gonna talk about it. And then, I just been trying to figure out what do I want to do, and I'm looking at the board here. I'm asking myself, what do I need to do to pivot in another direction? What do I need to have, or to have a different life in the next six months? Technically, now it's five months because I started this a few weeks ago. Um, so I'm already on the journey. It's just me making sure I make the time out to put me first. Because I, I work 10 hours shifts. I'm a truck driver. I'm not saying what company I'm for, for. It don't matter. Um, I don't do on, on the road. It's all local. But I make decent money. Pretty good money for a 33-year-old. I pretty good money. Um, and then I'm trying to just, add, you know, do things. Once I get home, I'm tired. So I'm trying to hold myself accountable to the full extent to make sure I'm actually following what's best for me. And spiritually I'm going through it to try to figure out that um and then I'm looking here I was like do I still want to live in AZ that's still a question I know my best friend she want me and my best friend planned on living together because rent is so high like my rent I have a two bedroom it's 1700 which ain't bad and I can afford it but it's like all I'm doing, most of your your life you're paying rent <laughs> like $1,700 in rent 
before when I first moved here, my rent was twelve ninety for a two bedroom. Moved to Arizona. Now it's seventeen twenty one. Let me be exact. Seventeen twenty one. Insane. Like that's not okay, but that's a whole nother topic. So I'm trying to figure out what's best for me. Like I want to do have the best outcome for myself. I want to make myself comfortable. And that sounds so bad, but I, I have to. So I'm trying to figure out, do I still want to live here? Do I want to move back to Chicago, start over? I moved from Chicago because I'm, I'm really running from nothing, really. We have to get to that another video. <laughs> I don't know what I'm ready to talk about that. I don't think I want to. You know what, I'll talk about it. this, not in this video. Um. There's a whole thing about why I moved here. We'll talk about that too. Baby, this is me. I will talk about this. I promise. Scout time now. I will talk about it. I'm just I'm looking in here because I'm just reading off things that I've written. I probably want to show y'all, but no, I don't want to miss y'all. Don't judge me. You know what? Hold on. Let's see if I can show you. I got pants. They short. They just short shorts, y'all. So you won't think I'm lying. It's right here. This is what I, I wrote down. And then I change it periodically and I mark off stuff on my list. You know, I'll put it back up. And I got another one, but that really don't have nothing on there. Um, and then I said, try to figure out what I love to do. Hold on. Let's see that. Yeah. Try to figure out what do I love to do. Me having self discipline. Really, just like I said, holding myself accountable. Because I have been slacking. I just been working, and I'm not. I've been focusing on making bigger than a company rich, but not making myself rich. And even by being rich, I just want to be able to fulfill my life to where I could travel and do what I want to do. And that's including me. Just I want to be sitting on the beach. And also, there's another thing I do all over the place. But hold on, give me give me one second. One second. <clears throat> this transparency moment here. I write in this journal here with my pen. What the heck? My journal. I write in here. Doing like shadow work and stuff like that. I mean, I started doing shadow work a while ago, but I stopped. I stopped. <laughs> Once I worked at a job, and everything just been, got lost. So I don't know if you ever went from making not so much money to making quite a bit of money and then just went. You everything out the window, and I don't want to be like that no more because it doesn't make sense. I'm not doing what I love. It was make sure I always get to this place where I'm just like, this is not enough. I'm worth more than this. I can do more than this. Let's change, you know. So <sighs> that's what I to that. I want to. I want to change. I want to have a better relationship with food, a better relationship with myself. So I'm trying to work on the inner me, out of me, mental, just everything all at the same time. I'm top of just doing make sure I'm doing my shadow work. Writing how I'm feeling, cause baby, I've been crying. I've been crying a lot, and randomly too, I could be driving in the truck crying, and don't know why. I kind of know why. It's just, and then I have, I'm trying to learn how to let go. I, I'm gonna be honest, and I don't tell like this. I don't know how. I mean, still the hell in it. You don't know how it's gonna be. If people will hold that against you, I gotta get. I have issues letting go of situations, people, family, friends, whatever. I don't matter who I have. Well, yep, I'm gonna see. I have issues like letting go. So I'm trying to learn how to release. And it could be an ego thing too. Because if you did something to me and I didn't do nothing back to you, that is hard for me. Normally, I'm, I'm not gonna, that's they say vindictive. I'm very, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I can be. I've grown for that. I haven't done anything because I chose not to because I don't want to be like that because I don't see the point of me. Like, if somebody send me some type of energy, me spend my energy doing the same thing, but it just make just lowest vibration. Low vibration of the person that's doing it. I don't want to be like that. Though. I'm 33 years old. I'm not playing with you people no more with this stupid stuff, with this work, with this relationship. And I have not had a good relationship with anybody. And I'm like, it's probably me. Maybe it's me. I, ch I choose these people. I definitely do. I actually heard who said that. Aaliyah J. I don't know if y'all watched her. I watched her video. That is so true. I chose these people. 
I always feel like, ugh. Ugh. anyway, <laughs> I be too strong, and it ain't be worth the time of day. We don't get to that. Let's talk about that another. But and they probably think so. I don't care. I I ain't the best person, but I ain't horrible. But I'll take accountability for my bullshit because I don't. I, we'll get to another topic. That's another topic. I promise you, it's really good. I promise we'll talk about it next time. But um, but yeah, like I'm trying to figure out who I am. When I say this is the hardest thing, you like what do you like to do? I don't know. Well, I like to play video games, <laughs> but that's not what I'm, I'm talking about. What I like to do, like what do I want to do that I love? I like painting pictures. If I show you some of my pictures, what else do I like to do that I really good? I like to take pictures. I'll show you guys that. I, I'm really good at still drawing. Um, really good at it. I'm very, what do you call it? Artistic, I guess. Artistic, yes. Yes. Um, creative. More like that. I'm very creative. I have a whole idea of what I'm going to do for Halloween on my balcony. I'll show you that process too. I'm actually going to do it. I'm actually going to do it. I ain't got no, I don't really have much time. But I'm going to do it. Um, but I truly, truly trying to figure out like who, who is Ashley? Who is she? Uh, it, but somebody said something that's funny. They were like, you, you know your authentic self when you were a child, when you were a kid. That's who you authentically were. You gotta go back to that. And I keep going back to the kid, but I don't remember because some of the, some of the things when I was a kid, uh, I'm trying to say this, um. Some of the things as a kid that I remember, I, was, I had a lot of happy times, but I had a lot of times that it wasn't, wasn't. But that's another topic. If I'm sharing, it doesn't really matter. But, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna take this out. But then again, I don't know, I'm being transparent as I can, but I don't wanna seem like transparent. No, because my parents were good, they did what they knew. If y'all have any, Kids are born in the fifties and sixties. Y'all know how they grew up. They always did what they knew how to do. My parents they never not took care of us. You know, it's just emotionally, you know, that they didn't. They, they weren't able to do it. They don't know how to do it. You know, does that make sense? I hope I'm saying it right. And if my mom and dad watch this, don't think I'm saying it as a bad way. I love y'all. Okay, y'all are not bad parents. I don't think that. It's just they were emotionally unavailable. <laughs> that's that's all I can say about that. Um, <laughs> um but yeah. So I'm just trying to figure out who I am. And I know this is like twenty something minutes. Okay. On a lighter note, I want the Beyonce concert. <laughs> I want the Beyonce concert. But I'll show you that next. No, it, I was in awe. That one that's the first big concert I've been to. I've been to little ones, but that was the first big concert I've been to and it was beautiful. Like it was just beautiful. If her concert don't motivate you to be big be a big boss, I don't know what what would you get from that? I don't know. That's what I got from it. That's how I seen it. Even listening to her the lyrics to her music, the, the album. She be speaking, especially when you talking about. I'm not gonna get to that either. But, <laughs> um, and that is the song playing in my head. Especially about that song, Heat It. Girl, Heat It. Cozy in my skin. When I say this is the most I've ever loved myself, and I was saying I didn't, but I guess I did it, but a lot, a lot of things that shouldn't happen. Y'all know why I'm relationships and stuff. Y'all be do some some stuff and they just yeah girl that song cozy and when i say I, this is the most i've ever felt so like before i wouldn't come like this just regular i've got makeup on which is very it's not that i really don't wear makeup like that so don't get this wearing makeup all the time you want to go out because i that's cozy like i got really in this past I was like two years, I really started loving how I look as is. Looking at the inside out, I'm not playing. Like, I want to be 
I've been in here to be ever that is. I'm trying to figure it out. Don't judge me. It's all a work in progress. A lot of these gonna get cut out. Okay. <laughs> but now I'm just rambling. But that and I'm wearing her shirt. I got some time for it. Yes. This is a it motivated me. Me and my best friend supposed to have a conversation about it too. Especially talking about opulence and baby. Mm. This is a and it really had the confidence from looking at it. I'm like, I'm not just looking at it as like, oh, it's a dress. I'm looking at it like this big boss. Like, she set herself up for like, as long as the black people came, I'm gonna get into. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, why, why live a mediocre life? Why not be free? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I want for myself. And I've been feeling this way for a while. Didn't know how to tap into my skill zone, but with prayer and me really learning about myself and being honest with myself, setting boundaries because baby, I didn't have none. I didn't have no boundaries. Boundaries was a thing that wasn't even a thing. I didn't know what boundaries were. What I didn't know what boundaries were. I'm just now learning that you need you need them for yourself they're not for anybody for yourself and i didn't know that like learning to communicate how i feel and sometimes certain things don't deserve any communication it just it is what it is but learning my triggers what triggers me because i have a lot of them it's easy but learning that those triggers are my issues and not to put them on anybody else that i need to learn to fix that or not fix but learn how what, what my triggers are and how to not allow them to take me to this world with emotions i learned how to control my emotions what else am i really doing that um i was really crying but i think it's because the, the blue moon and i keep nudging out i'm ready for retrograde yes i believe in that stuff yes i don't care it's true i don't care i believe in it you ain't got to but i do um all of that is going on so yeah back to the insurance situation draw for no reason oh lord this cannot be this long i'm about to edit so much bye y'all y'all see the next clips so i'll answer some things here and there and break it up and break it up and break it up bye y'all hey y'all we getting ready for the concert yeah